Vermont's questions about COVID and the vaccines have continued to come in to us here at Local 4, specifically to our Dr. Frank McGeorge, who has been working diligently to answer them all. Yeah, and today he's addressing several new questions submitted through ClickOnDetroit.com, including which age group is being hospitalized more right now. A viewer asks, if a person is on a ventilator because of COVID-19 and possibly not going to make it, can they donate their organs? The answer is, at this time, patients who die from COVID cannot donate organs. Now, here are some more of your questions. Paula asks, would you explain the difference between the new Pfizer Community COVID vaccine and the Pfizer BioNTech COVID vaccine? And which version received recent FDA approval? Paula, the vaccines are identical. The Pfizer vaccine was simply given the name community after it received full approval. There is only one version of the vaccine. Nancy asks, my sister is 60 years old, overweight, and never sees a doctor. She had Guillain-Barre when she was 18 years old. Is it safe for her to get the COVID vaccine? Yes, it is safe, but I would recommend that she receive one of the mRNA vaccines from Pfizer or Moderna. There have been very rare reports of Guillain-Barre syndrome related to the J&J single-dose vaccine. Jane asks, how many days does a fully vaxxed person who gets sick with COVID Delta need to quarantine? For most adults with COVID-19, isolation and precautions should continue for 10 days after symptom onset and after at least 24 hours since the last fever. Finally, a viewer asks, the news has reported that hospital admissions for young people have been increasing. Are most of the people being hospitalized young? The answer is no. People between 60 and 69 have seen the highest number of average daily hospital admissions, and generally, most hospital admissions are still in people over age 50. Now, finally, a viewer named Shine asks, does wearing masks have an adverse effect on health? This seems to be one of the notions why mask usage is opposed. Well, the simple answer is that mask wearing has no adverse effect on health. I don't think anyone loves wearing a mask, but right now, in most settings, it is just the right thing to do.